OK. So ladies and gentlemen, what I want to do for this problem is, again, let's go through our amplitude and our period. All right? The main important thing for each one of these problems is we need to determine the amplitude period, critical points, and our start and our end. It's the same thing over and over and over again. So you have to make sure you understand what those points are and how to figure them out. Once you can figure those out, we'll work on the graphing part. So the first section is I need to uh, find the amplitude. Remember, the amplitude is the absolute value of A. You have to know your vocabulary for this one. A, remember, is what's being multiplied by our function, which we can see is going to be 1. So absolute value of 1 equals 1. The next thing is we determine our period. Remember, period is going to be 2 pi divided by b, where b is your coefficient of x. And in this example, we have 2 pi over 1, which equals 2 pi. OK? So right now, we're looking very similar to our, uh, very similar to our um, parent graph. The next thing is, let's find our critical points. Or not really the critical points, but the distance between the critical points. So the distance between the critical points is, remember, you take your period and divide it by 4, which in this case, we're going to have pi halves. All right? Last thing, ladies and gentlemen, is remember we want to start with the start and the end. Remember in our paragraph, our first period started at 0 and ended at 2 pi. So what we're going to do to take the start is we take everything that's inside of our function and we set it equal to 0. And then we take the end and we take everything that's inside our function and we set it equal to 2 pi. So then solving for x, we get pi over 4. Then solving for x here, we get um, we can a 9 pi over 4. Do I need to add fractions again? So now what we want to do is let's graph it. Okay. So ladies and gentlemen, our starting point now, I want to show you guys how to graph. Our starting point, rather than being at 0, we're going to have our starting point is going to be at pi over 4. Right? And then we're going to have our four critical points, 1, 2, 3, 4. Then we have another negative critical points, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now remember, the distance between our critical points is going to be pi halves. So what's 1 fourth plus pi halves? Okay. So we have pi over 4 plus pi over 2. You guys are going to have to get really good at fractions. You have to get these to be common denominators. Pi over 4 plus 2 pi over 4 equals 3 pi over 4. So the first coordinate point is 3 pi over 4. Then to get to the next point, you have to add again another pi halves. Right? Because the distance between every critical point is pi halves. Does everybody see that? So again, to add 3 fourths, we have to add another pi halves, which is going to be 5 pi over 4. Then we add another pi halves, which will give us 7 pi over 4. Add another pi halves, we get 9 pi over 4. I mean, it just, I mean, it helps you to, yeah, to know, like, I mean, really, this is just adding and subtracting fractions, you know, with it. But yeah, it's, I mean, it's going to help out a lot. Now, let's go back in the negative direction. So if I have pi halves or pi over 4 minus pi halves, that's going to provide me with negative pi over 4. All right? Then I'm going to have a negative 3 pi over 4, negative 5 pi over 4, and a negative 7 pi over 4. Right? Checking 
map and carrying the one over. OK, so now let's graph it. So the first thing, we look at our amplitude. And when looking at our amplitude, that means my graph, the half distance, is going to go up to 1, down to negative 1. So I'm going to write that as 1, negative 1. Now remember, the sine graph, all right, let's just graph it how we remember the sine graph. Look at where we say it starts from its start that we're starting now. We're not starting at 0. Now we're starting at pi force. The first critical point is where? Up to its maximum, to its maximum point, which is 3 pi over 4. Then it goes down, goes down to negative 1, and comes back up. Then it goes down, comes up, goes to its max, and goes back down. Huh? No, no, this is the graph. No, 1 is the y value. Sorry. This is the x value. The x value is pi force. So it starts at pi over 4? Yeah. So it's not starts pi over 4. Okay. This, yeah, I, you could probably, if you, sorry, this might be a little confusing with the axis. If you want to say here's 0, right? Yeah. Sorry. That's let's pretend point. that's 0. Here's your y-axis. Sorry, that probably would have been pretty confusing. Here's still your y-axis. Your y-axis, or your, sorry, your y-axis is still here. Here's zero. However, we're starting at pi over four. Sorry, that probably was confusing. Yes. Yes. Yep. And. I'll, Just remember, what's the, what's the distance between our critical points? Pi halves, right? Or how to convert that into force? 2 pi over 4. So really, to go for each one of these points, all I'm doing is adding or subtracting 2 pi over 4. OK? Questions? Preguntas? OK, good.